So agroforestry is really just the integration of um, different agricultural practices with tree crops. We've chosen to, to implement agroforestry as our regenerative agricultural practice because of the rainfall here. If all the lawnmowers were put away and uh, nature sort of took over, we would get a forest. So essentially we're, we're choosing the most appropriate type of ecosystem to model our agriculture. In its highest form, agroforestry is the modeling of our agricultural production after the forest ecosystem and the mimicking of how we get there and how those systems are created. So one of the benefits of agroforestry is just the biodiversity and the crops that you can grow together. Um, just in this one spot, we have um, kale, and taro, and basil, sugarcane, pineapple, coffee, papaya, breadfruit, vanilla, and these are all growing in, in, in 15 feet of grow space. So by integrating multi-species grazing into our agroforestry systems, we are basically grass and pasture farming. This is the resource that will give us the eggs and the milk. Also, this serves as a fertility bank for the neighboring trees and shrubs. So I think the biggest challenge to any regenerative system is the fact that we're operating in an economic system that values short-term profits and doesn't account for its destruction of the bison. So we're designing agricultural ecosystems for the long term that provide real tangible benefits to humanity and the rest of the natural world that don't wind up on anyone's balance sheet. So specifically with agroforestry, I think one of the challenges is the need for research and development of best practices and designs. What are the most productive plant guilds? What are the interactions between plant and animal systems that can build the interconnectedness and the resilience that we see in natural systems? As these learning landscapes are created and observed, they can help scale up successful models.